Hello and welcome back to our current story, Our World Has Ended, story of um, terrible humor. You know, I just realized that the Steam page for this is that this this um, game is controversial. <laughs> that is certainly a way to describe um, some questionable um, humor choices. In any case, we're having a, a team meeting now. It's very professional, I'm sure, so let's, uh, let's get into it. Everyone gathered at the conference space for Judgment Seven's most important meeting, the Seven Council. Unison and I quickly finished the preparations. Sunnison helped a little too, uh, so there were no problems on that front. But again, the preparations involved any document handling and whatnot. We just had to place some snacks and drinks on the table. The pizza Unison order makes this look like an actual party, but that's how it is every time. The only conference-like thing here is the laptop. At least it would be conference-like if it didn't display a beautiful blonde lady in a swimsuit. I can see that beautiful blonde lady over there in the corner. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, it's a towel. I'm like... Does he have his pants down? Okay, great. Ori-san looks at the selection of food and drinks and nods in satisfaction. He faces the laptop and talks to it. Laptop responds to the voice coming from its mini speaker. The one talking is Tatiana-san. Her full name is Tatiana Alexandrovna Sharpova. Sharpova. Wow, I actually remembered it. Good job, me. Tatiana San is another J7 member. She works with Owari San as a sub programmer. Apparently, her programming speed is greater than his, and I don't think we would have survived the Dune of Nightmares without her. She's capable for sure, but I still don't actually know what kind of person she is. She's usually in some sort of lab in Hokkaido. She rarely comes here in person, that's why she participates in conferences through voice chat. All I know is that she's Russian and young. I once asked Yunosan about her and she said that she's, quote, very cute, unquote. So it's safe to assume she looks good. Uh-huh. Th th that, that matters, I guess, for some reason. Thanks, buddy. During voice chats, she uses a pic of a sexy blonde lady, but I don't think that's actually her. Still, I think I can expect a similar appearance from the real thing. I mean, what's the point of using that pick otherwise? I, there's about a million reasons you would want to do that. If her programming skills are recognized by Wari san I can assume she's about as old as him. Sounds a bit young, but that's probably because she's not too good at Japanese yet. Kind of charming, to be honest. She's Russian, and even her name Tatiana sounds kind of sexy and glamorous. Yeah, I'm sure I can expect something great. I lose myself in my imagination nonchalantly stare at the sexy blonde beauty in the laptop. Before I realize it, Natsumi Zen is staring at me with the coldest of eyes. She's looking at some insect. Yes, yes, he did, and you should do something about that. You're lying, Reiji. Oh, I see. So you want me to die? Well, I try to stare at the screen with a bit of a perverted mind, so I guess I deserve a scalding comment or two. Why Sand stands up and clears his throat? Aruka-san raises his voice and we, all as one, completely ignore him. And so begins another Seven Council. Sanosan bites into a sweet and hits Owari San with that question. 
Super Saiyan takes the candy and throws it into her mouth. Suddenly, she grimaces. Oh, okay. And depending on one's proclivities, perhaps um, they're both good. You never know. Uh, Yuma sent answers while looking at the candy bag. I just don't know what kind of comment to make about this product. Boot? Oh. Oh no. Sumi san takes the candy bag out of Yunosan's hand. Oh, I see. Sweet and whip candy, but still, what kind of taste is whip? You know, sometimes you get the the whip, sometimes you get the sweet. Can't begin to understand why she thought that in the first place. Russian candy, to you, a kid. Oh, Mushiro, Wagahai Nurako Tames to Kikakita, you are now. Oh, my. Ksen joins and makes the whole thing even more lively. Well, just start ten or so seconds ago, and it's already derailed. Guess that's the seven council for you. Sanasan also pulled a bad one. How sad. Tatiana san complains to the laptop speakers, but everyone ignores her. We should play with the sweet and whipped candy, and well, the bag didn't lie. Party turned lively. But th this is supposed to be a conference, right? I'd say that out loud, but it's clear I'd be ignored, so I'll just silently watch. Take about five minutes for the Seven Council to return to being a conference. Sanasan complains despite contributing contributing to the derailing. <laughs> Makes a needlessly long pause and Judgment Seven no Jikai Sakuni Tweeted. Sesako Hajimeo to Mono Daga, no Daro. Sora Sora Sona Sigarun Jeraka do what they do. Sekai! Ho ha! Simon compels Aruka to make more weird sounds. But I don't know Sekai or Coach Sudebai. None de Mo Yuka. Sanasan gives a highly reasonable opinion. She falls silent. It's pretty clear she has no plans like that. And Natsumi san asked while being fully aware. Sumi san, stay here on your days off, right? Well, I, I know you live here, but still. Guess she's about to be done with some major research. Honestly, I feel the same way. It's like preparing for a school festival. Well, 
それに7時以降はビール飲みながら作業できるし。Uh, sure. That's um yeah. Probably don't work after seven o'clock. Keep keep work hours. Sano-san, I never heard of that rule. You and co this company are so lax. It's a bad company. It's a bad company, Reiji. But man, they must know that things are going to become hectic again when development starts. Despite that, they all seem to be up for it. I guess I shouldn't expect less from the members of a game dev, co game dev company. She looks me happy, he asked my opinion. I mean, I'm just a part-timer. Anyway, I give an honest answer. もうすぐ大学も夏休みになって時間も取れますしよし。メンバー全員の総意が取れたところで新プロジェクトを始動させようじゃないか。知っての通り、次の作品は我々ジャッジメント7に取って記念すべき7作品目となる。俺はそれを ワールドプログラムによる拡張現実技術を使用した新機軸新時代新次元のRPGにしようと思うズバリそのタイトルはPre sense writing the whiteboard I engraved the words into my mind ワールドエンドヘブンだ And so after getting us the title he probably throws everything else to us. It's not J7 usually develops. Make a tile that clicks and then try to think what the game's about. It feels haphazard, but with employees like this, that's probably the best method. Also, it's the actual party time, otherwise known as brainstorming. Everyone needs some drinks, whatever they want, while presenting their opinions. Yes, bears and rabbits, yes. Charm people, charm them. Seems like a good time for both of you to stretch your game design skills. The fact that no one in this conference acting reserved makes derails pretty common. Ooh, cerebrum stimulation. Looks like it's like maybe forget the whole thing where he calls me number zero. He returns to the name he uses more often, Reiji. It's a change to the fact that what you speak is mostly a mess, but you know, whatever. Hot sauce here's the special sauce that comes with the pizza when you pay extra. There's habanero in it, and even a little bit if it's really hot. Ruka san pours a significant amount of the sauce on the pizza slice and forces it into his mouth. As Urkasan releases a sound of joy, Asano-san looks at him like he's a cryptid or something. Urka, 
と頭が壊れてるんじゃないのお姉ちゃんカレーは甘口しか食べられないもんねい,いいじゃない甘口が一番おいしいのよ<笑>味にも設定にもスパイシーな刺激というのは必要不可欠なのだ朝のまだまだのようだな何その上から目線辛いものが苦手ってだけでお子様扱いされてるみたいですっごくムカつくんだけど That does seem to be the plan. Yes, violence, violence. Sense merciless words severely damage Aruka and make him drop on the table. He has my sympathy. Suddenly, Wari san, who spoke little until now, hits the table. Super hot. For a moment, I wonder if there's a deeper meaning to that, but. Super hot. Super hot. <laughs> makes the lewd look, kind of him, that's all there really is to it. Nevertheless, the group was given a keyword. <laughs> Sumidan takes the sketchbook and raises her pencil. She starts drawing. The ruins are smooth, and she completes the sketch in no time. True night girl burning in the flames of hell. It's just well drawn, but it's so dark and chaotic, it feels like it exudes an aura that can make people depressed. Rukasan is definitely excited, but everyone else is disturbed by the excessive darkness of the sketch. Well, that's inherent to our art, so none of us are able to actually say it. Some of us actually did it! Some of us closed their eyes and hums a song she just thought of. Sorry, but I can't tell, like, at all. Well, Asano san doesn't realize it herself, she's actually severely tone deaf. The song she just hummed was actually just an incomprehensible array of sound. <laughs> well, thanks, you know. Yeah, Sun declares, takes a deep breath, and starts to hum. Her humming is so good, I want an encore. It actually sounds like part of a really good song. Did she actually get all that just from Asana san's incomprehensible sounds? Is it because they're sisters, or because Yuno san's actually good at this? Whether the case is quite something. How horny do you have to be to compliment someone on their humming? <laughs> like, come on, Reishi. <laughs> and that confirms that Yuno san was what Asano san intended to hum. What's shocking here is the fact that Asano san couldn't hear the difference between her and her sister humming. Don't definitely sure of something. Asumi sends eyes. Natsumi, so they were kids in Aranaiwa. Atashi no doko got done then that to you know you. So no toyo stayed a cotta jita in his unnamed at the union. 
自分の残念さがまるで分かっていないそれは残念を通り越して残酷と言うべきかもねああきっちん中に引きこもってるだけのネクラ女に残念呼ばわりされる筋合いはないんだけど But she has a tiny hat, Asano. Look at that tiny hat. Asano san flares up at Nasumi san. This keeps up. Things might not might turn to sour. They might even start to fight. I hastily speak up. Asano san, now the phrase is very good. Super hot from the tongue. So cute. 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 Can't. I don't have the courage to be honest. Say she's too tone deaf for me to tell what she was trying to hum. Fair enough. Sana san cracks her fingers. She's being so unreasonable, but if it helps for Sana san and the Sumi san from clashing, then I'd say it's worth it. Just love pain. Just hit me. Just punch me. Just with someone's assistant director, give it and make the sacrifice, accepting the punch head on. The meeting, which feels like chat time, has been going on for an hour now. There are lots of various ideas, some more useful than others, but it looks like we're running out now. <laughs> Tanasan faces a worry song. Kakchou現実技術って言ったっけ？それって実際どんなんなわけ？確かに。新世界ゴーグルとかいうものは大ありから受け取ったけど、まだ肝心の拡張現実というものは見せてもらってないわね。確かに。拡張現実技術による新た
これが冬だったら水着は変だけど夏なんだから水着でもいいんじゃないかな今日は外すっごく暑かったしね That is certainly logic of a sort. But, if you want to be a little bit of 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 a little Wait, underwear? How would she look in that? Don't, don't, no. Thank you, Asano. Your violence is the only thing keeping this entire um, business in check. So it's not fudges me, not holding back at all. I fully agree. Her glare stings really bad. Hey, I heard that's full of honesty, but yeah, it's definitely worth examining. Wait, no, we were supposed to talk about the greatness of AR. Crap, I wonder if I can talk about the loot experience. Don't do that. Again, Awari Sam was the one who showed me all that. It's his fault. Didn't have a choice. It's a perfectly valid excuse. As if he was biding his time, Awari San suddenly speaks up. ワールドプログラムによる拡張現実のデモンストレーションを始めるからな。え、本当？はい、やった。おお、ついにこの時が来たか。これは心して望まねばなるまいな。拡張された現実。少し面白そうね。興味が出てきたわ。Once attention shifts to the new world goggles demonstration, I heave a sigh of relief. Though Ari san could have helped me out a bit earlier, why didn't he? Because he's a terrible boss. But yeah, it's obvious because he had fun watching me turn all flustered. I mean, that might also be true, but mostly because he's a terrible boss. <sighs> Exasperated by his personality, I ask him something that has me a bit curious. But <laughs> ゲインが熱暴走なのであれば昼間に比べて基地の室温も下がったしもう心配はいらないだろうおい何日かそっちで適当な VRゴーグルを調達できるかいできれば外部カメラがついてるタイプだ大丈夫なのだそんなのは研
we can try to justify it, but yeah. Our sense voice reached me from both the zone mouth and the speaker in my ear. Tatiana's sense voice comes out from only the speaker. Rai-san does something on a separate laptop from the one Tatiana is using the chat. It's not a ton of info for my field of vision. It's not a ton of info, that's, that's one line of text. So this is about the same thing I said today at noon. However, the one to argue against it this time is Aruka-san. Sun raises his hand high. Perfect. So the way you say it was too weird for the program to recognize it. Can't blame it to be honest. Oi, sensors were actually recognized as the command. Just like at noon, filter covers my vision, various info is displayed in my vision. You know, San Naruka San are giddy, but the rest aren't as impressed. San and Natsubi San agree on something for once. Tatiana-san's complaining. Rai-san does something on his laptop and augments our vision. Textures are applied to what we see in real time. Familiar conference based on a dark dungeon you expect to see in RPGs. Sound even more exciting than before. Even Asano san and Asumi san are lost for words, the quality of this AR is just that good. Even Tatiana san and Hokkaido sounds moved. I was surprised back when the signs in Asukasa. Asakusa. See, I'm never gonna pronounce it right because at this point I've just ruined myself. Asakusa started displaying sexy women, and when Yuno-san's clothes became a school swimsuit. But this is a level above that. All my vision is augmented. I extend my hand. I don't actually see it, but I can feel the conference table here. So I can only apply textures to things that make them look like something else. It also makes things that are there become invisible. RPG that utilizes this would be really awesome. Sorosoro, 
ごくごく普通なモンスターどっちか選んでくれたまえ、uh -huh. <笑>そんなことは聞かずもがなだ。すべてはアカシックレコードに最初から刻まれている。エロエロなモンスターだとだ。レイジ君、君の意見は？これはもうどちらかといえばそっちの方が。You should lie. You should lie about that. いやね、変態菌がここまで増殖していたなんて、火炎放射器でもあったらすぐに焼き尽くす。It's the right choice. Even the goggles can contain the coldness of her glare. You know, you're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. She's serious. She's not going to be able to do it. She's not going to be able to do it. She's not going to be able to do it. She's not going to be able to do it. She's not going to be able to do it. デモンストレーションではセクシーでエロエロモンスターが登場するとずっと前から決めていたのだ !I knew it. w o r r i s a n you really are a model pervert. Can't say anything in front of the girls, but you have my s i l e n t support. Man, this guy sucks. Sucks so bad. w o r r i s a n does something on his laptop again. Source code of the program flies by and a monster is gradually being created in that empty space. s l o w to the sexy monster makes me gulp, but then it suddenly stops. He desperately starts working his laptop to try and bring the situation under control, but the program is still out of control. ほう。我が輩たちは暗黒世界、ダークネスダークに誘われてしまったか。闇を晴らす奇跡の意志。シャイニングストーンを見つけなければ。いや、that's My son takes off his NWG and looks at the laptop with a serious expression. Oi, Tanishka? Scotty, program or meet a good and I got. Oh, my no maker, I meet a Nanica Okashina Bubun Garuka Doka, or she at all. Tatiana san doesn't respond. He brings the laptop a use for voice chat closer and. She's. Ah. Alright, sun sighs. He seems to be down. A rarity for him. ワールドプログラムと新世界ゴーグルがこんな状態ではもはやデモンストレーションは不可能だしな今日のセブン評議会はこれでお開きとしよう Don't feel too good about not getting a proper conclusion but doesn't look like there's anything more we can do today The conference is over and there's just some sweets, pizza and drinks So we just hang around and reflect on what happened それにしてもおかしいぞ Why son's in front of his laptop, folding his arms and thinking intensely. Yeah, that's probably it. Sumisana san san scold a worry son. でも言うのはセクシーでエロエロなモンスターちょっと見たかったのにな。言うのただひたすらに求める。させればいつかお前の望むものは目の前に降臨することだろう。そんなに見たいかね。言うのになならば特別だ。そのエロエロなモンスター
この変態ほうピザがなくなっているこの中に消失の能力に目覚めたものがいるようだいや普通に食べちゃっただけですからあこっちに少し余ってますからどうぞあレイジー冷蔵庫からビール持ってきてくんない会議終わったんだからもう飲んでいいでしょ As I lose the move conference, make it look like nothing but a lazy party. Go to the fridge and brought us on a sun some a b i c h u beer, a favorite of hers. She opens the can, starts down in the content. でもさっきコンビニで売り切れてたから違うの買ってきたんだけどラッキーアスミさんは wearing a set of headphones and silently drawing something クサンは pouring insane amounts of hot sauce on his pizza and seemingly testing the limits of spiciness Sam brings a shaved ice machine, starts making some shaved ice on the table. Uh huh. Hmm. <laughs> For a moment, I think that Awari s e n s testing some new program, but he's actually just looking at a sexy picture. I mean, that's the same, right? Everyone's doing whatever they want. This isn't uncommon for Judgment 7. It makes me feel a bit exasperated. I do find this somewhat pleasant. Sure. Nine PM and you're still at work? Go home. Easy party ends and snacks and drinks run out and everyone's free to go. I get a worry s e n t s who was actually live in the office building, so I don't really need to go anywhere. Rukasan said that my surge of ideas hasn't stopped yet and decided to stay at the company to keep making his absurdly complicated worlds. The ones who appear to leave are myself and the Haesi sisters, but even those two live in a rented place not too far from the office. Though Sana san is still drinking her last beer, so she and Yuo san will be leaving after me. I'll let you bow to my colleagues at J7 and leave the dead room. Even the office is our heading for the Tobu Railway's Asu Asakusa Station. Live near the Kija Senju Station in the on the Tobu Line. It takes about 15 minutes to get here by train from the Asakusa Station, but getting from the Kija Senju Station to my place is over 20 minutes on foot. It's a cheap room because I'm not too knowledgeable about Tokyo's geography, but the distance can be a bit exhausting every now and then. I'm returning from college, it's actually easy to get to J7's offices and then go back home. If I'm to continue being a part timer there, I should probably start searching for a place somewhere closer. I guess I should just do what Nasumi san did and rent a part of the office. In fact, that doesn't seem like such a bad idea. It shows just how desensitized I've become. Yeah, it seems like a really bad idea. Please don't do that. And I wonder what kind of game world, world, and heaven will become. New Axis, a new age, new dimension RPG that utilizes the world programs AR. Just imagining it makes me excited. It doesn't seem like it'll go anywhere as long as the world program goes haywire like it did twice today. If you don't take care of that problem, the game will never be completed. Honestly, I think things will turn out just fine. w r i s e n s e pervert, but his talent for programming is extraordinary. He also has Tatiana sent with him. He asked her to examine the program. The issue might be solved unexpectedly easily. Arrive at the main street, specifically the k a m i n a r u m Kaminarimon. Kaminarion. Kaminarion. I am bad at pronunciation. Kaminarimon. Kaminarimon. There we go. Street. Taking a left at the intersection might be before Kaminarion Block 1. I head towards the Asakusa Station. Soon see the Kaminarion. Kaminarimon itself. It's lit up for the night, making the lanterns and the pillars shine beautifully. I guess it's what people call tasteful. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Reiji? Also, although Asakusa is a popular tourist location that neatly represents Japan, it's a town that goes to sleep unexpectedly quickly. 
Shops close at nine. There are barely any people walking around. Though I do enjoy the liveness around the around Kaminari Mall when it's surrounded by people during the day. I think I prefer when it's as silent as it is now. The Asakusa Station is closed now. I really have to take a shower when I return to my place. As I think to myself, head towards the station and. Eh? Stop in place. Asakusa Station was right before my eyes just now, but it went and vanished. Not only that, my surroundings have completely changed. It doesn't take me long to understand where I am. It's the intersection before Kaminari on Block 1. It's like someone cast a spell on me or something. I spend a moment thinking and quickly come across a certain conclusion. Give a sigh. Thanks a lot to make a man unconsciously turn around and go so far. Giving up on the shower, I hurry back home again. Pass right by the Kaminari Mon Street, past the Kaminari Mon itself, and see the Asakusa Station again. Carefully bracing myself, I walk towards it. Happened again. I'm back at the intersection. Consciousness is clear. I definitely didn't just sleep while here or anything, but that can only mean that, that I instantly teleported to this place. All right, deny that conclusion. My sense of reason doesn't agree with it at all. I shout and start running. Following the same route, I pass the Kaminari Mon again. Then using my running momentum, I charge towards the Asakusa station. And again, I end up at the intersection. <laughs> my heart is pounding. My throat is dry. Back is drenched in sweat. And shaved eyes, don't remember, don't forget. This isn't real. This can't be real. I mutter that like I'm delirious and start running again. Third time's the charm. Without stopping for a moment, I pass the Kaminari Mon again and go towards the station. So it's the same. Even so, I don't give up and try over and over and over again. Over. And over. And over. And over and over. And over and over. And over and over 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 and over. And over 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 Stop running. My stamina will power completely drained. And I can't deny what's happening any longer. Going to the Asakusa station instantly makes you move to the intersection at the Kaminari Mon block. One. Can't help but acknowledge this unnatural loop phenomenon is reality. Can't even begin to understand why it's happening. What I do understand, though, is that I am trapped in Asakusa. Shock, perplexion, panic, and despair of all my heart and take the form of a shout. Ah, uh, and this is the end of chapter one, the first chapter. I see. And thus, we end our chapter one. And for some reason we seem to have, you know, on the thing, I don't, I don't know why. Maybe we're on the Yuna route. No idea, I'm to understand there's a route for every member of Judgment 7. Of course, we're just kinda gonna play naturally this first time, just pick whatever, and then, uh, you know. 
to get to the end, so depending on how we're feeling, we might use a guide to skip through everything and just see the parts we haven't seen before. Yeah, you know how it'd be. That's how visual novels be. But yeah, chapter one is done. She'd be trapped. Nasakusa, what are we gonna do? Oh no. We'll just have to find out next time. On exciting story time. The world our world is ended. See you later. Please try to have um tasteful non-shitty jokes. Thanks.